welcome back to my channel so i've been gone for a little bit and i'm sorry <laughs> so it's been a few weeks since i put up a video there's just a lot going on with the holiday new year's my daughter's the youngest daughter's birthday everybody was sick there's been just a lot going on then family came into town and that was like a whole thing and then i've been working a lot especially on like Saturday and Sunday to make up for having off on like Christmas and New Year's Day, which is um, my youngest daughter's birthday. So there's just been a lot going on. And in the midst of all of it, uh, I am very good at making things more complicated. So I am very much a, is it a proponent of the philosophy that one man's trash is another man's treasure and somebody in our neighborhood was getting rid of shelving and i've been looking at new shelving and i was like you know what it's free why not do that so i got new shelving and when i got it from this neighbor in the neighborhood uh, i was like oh that's not going to fit on the wall that my old shelving was on. And I was like, you know what? I've just been wanting to rearrange my whole room. So I literally exploded the master bedroom where I have like all my makeup stuff and everything. It's all like one room. Like I don't have like a separate makeup room. Um, I have a corner in my bedroom. And anyway, so <laughs> I got this new shelving. Had to take everything off of the shelving. And then my oldest daughter took that shelving so she's been a lot of moving around and then i was like oh my gosh i have literally like made a huge mess and then i told myself i needed to declutter so there will probably be a decluttering video at some point early on in this new year which really needs to be done because i have a lot of things and a lot of things that i don't even use or really need i don't know i've been decluttering the garage to like redoing that and organizing so i've been doing like a lot a lot of things other than doing videos which shame on me but it is what it is those things need to get done so anyway happy new year to everybody i hope all of you are well i am super excited i've made quite a few purchases so i did have a lot of time to do some purchasing so i've had a lot of orders come in and arrive between like the holiday and after new year's and all of that so i have a lot of things to show i might show that in another video and then let you guys decide what you want to see but today's video i'm super excited because i did get this did i get this right before christmas i might have got it right after christmas i can't remember but i got the new simply posh cosmetics aurora lights palette and this was like she just like dropped the bomb and was like hey look at this because she had already launched her holiday cozy cabin and then she was like i have a surprise for you guys and i was like oh my gosh so here is the aurora lights palette it's super pretty super pretty but i do notice i have the cozy cabin palette and i also have the fairy tale fairies palette do I have another one? I don't because I didn't get the, was it the orange one? The, um, oh, I can't think of what it's called. It's escaping me at the moment. And then the berry one, I didn't get that one either. I've been blowing everything up, so I can't think. Was there one after the fairy tales? I don't know. I hope I can hold all of these up. So I do see bit of a similar like color scheme <laughs> this is ridiculous there's got to be a better way to do this ah because i wanted to show like all three palettes all in one so when i got this palette the the one on the top is the aurora lights the middle one is fairy tale fairies and the bottom one is cozy cabin so at first i was like gosh she really does a similar color story so that's why i'm like i need to just put them up and look at them together and then you can see the difference i mean obviously there's only so many colors you can come up with for so many hues so there's the difference in case any of you are wondering is this different like how different is this from the other palettes that is the difference so anyhow so i really like their formula I really appreciated the palettes that I do have. So when she announced this one coming out, I was like, you know what? Why not? We're going to get it. Um, do not mind this. This is not going to stay like this. This is just me moving crap out of the way to be able to do a video. So I do apologize for the very blah, bland background. It'll change. 
to what I'm not really sure but it is what it is so anyway if you want to see what I do with this palette then just keep watching so I'm still playing around with like where I want my face to be like how zoomed in I don't know so we're gonna try this today I feel like I blend into the wall so oh my gosh look at these blues look at these they're so pretty I don't know I feel like I tend to like break up the palette when I do two different looks like do this side do these on one eye and then use this half on the other eye i'm not really sure i feel like i do that a lot though let me try to attempt to do something a little different i know i do want to use this green so i'm going to go with this morphe m 453 brush just a fluffy brush and i'm going to go into this color glow i'm going to tap that off it is very soft and I think I'm going to put that in here. It's very pretty. It's got some nice color payoff. And I'm just going to blend that out here at the edge. Just to soften it a bit. Pick up a little bit more. And deepen it up right here. And then I want to go in with Captivate darker tone green down at the bottom and I'm gonna pick that up on this blend bunny cosmetics before brush I really do like these brushes I find I'm picking them up more and more I'm gonna pick up that darker green and I'm gonna put it out here and then blend it into that lighter green that actually applied over top really well I'm going to bring this color in, so I'm kind of coming in from this outer third of the eye and bringing it in on a little bit of a diagonal. I don't know why, I just feel like it. <laughs> I don't have like any particular reason. It's just the shape I felt like. And then I'm going to go back in with that prior green called Glow. been really into these videos about people that live in really northern like places and there's one girl um what's her name her name's Cecilia and she lives in like Svalbard Svalbard I don't know I don't know how to say it because I'm just I just don't and um it's like the northernmost town to the north pole so I've been like obsessed with like watching her videos and like she did the whole thing of like living through polar nights and I will say she seems so stinking positive like she absolutely loves like where she lives she's always like oh my gosh she's always outside and she's like it's beautiful but anyway so like so many of her videos I've been like this like I just get stuck in them because I'm like watching them and then she's showing like the northern lights and like it really is beautiful it really is so anywho they kind of went along with this palette that is really freaking pretty look at that oh I'm so excited I have not sat down and done my makeup for a hot minute like these couple weeks since my last video yeah I don't think I've done my makeup like I haven't gone anywhere I don't think I've done I did my makeup on Christmas and it's after the new year I didn't even do my makeup on new year's it was a hot mess I'm telling you I don't know what I've been doing so let's see let's see I'm gonna pick up what is this a Beauty Bay 207 brush it's just a flat brush what do I want to do I think I really just want to go in with this light show I did not plan on just using this one row usually I mix up a lot of things but you know I try to dabble in a lot of different colors but I am feeling it Whatever vibe this row is giving off, I am there for it. Ooh. That is such a pretty color. That is so pretty. And it's picking up really nice on this brush. There's so much, like, sparkle to that. That is really pretty. It's dark. It's definitely dark, but it's still pretty. And then, what do I want to do? I feel like I want to do something in between that green. 
think I'm gonna go in with this color magical. It's like it looks green on the viewfinder, but then when I look down at it, it's got like a bluish purplish hue to it. So they want to pick up a little bit of that on that same brush. And I'm gonna go over where those two colors meet up. Let's see what kind of magic we can make happen. I have not watched any videos on this palette either because I'm like, nope, can't watch any videos and think, see what anybody else thinks about it until after I'm able to use it. Like, I didn't want to spoil it for myself. I mean, obviously, I come up with my own thoughts on it, but I didn't want anybody to, like, I never try, I, I tried to never really watch reviews on palettes until after I've used it. You know, I like to go in unbiased. Ooh, that is so pretty. I think that really did it. I'll pick up a little bit more of that light show color. Bring it here in the middle to get a nice blend between the two. And then I think what I want to do is pick up that Blend Bunny brush again. I'm going to pick up that same Captivate color and I'm just going to deepen it up out here. And I'm going to pick up that first brush and pick up that first color glow. And I'm going to tip my head back and just blend over that crease to soften it a little bit. Just from this point into this point. And then right here, I'm just going to soften where those two meet up. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up this, what is this? Luxie 141 Mini Round Brush. And I want to go into Magnetic. This is deeper blue on the bottom. I'm going to put this all underneath. So my pug's just turned 10. You hear one barking. She's going, getting senile. She just like randomly gets up and just barks. You should just be staring off. Sometimes it's, it's mainly because she's on the couch and wants to get down. But sometimes I'm like, Zoe, girl, what are you doing? Her and her sister both turned 10. I'm going to pick up this ColourPop L1 brush. Just a small, small brush. And I want to go into twinkling here. Ooh, ooh, that could have been disastrous. Pick up this twinkling color. And I'm going to go from the inner corner. Probably about a third of the way in on that lower, under that lower lash line. But I think I need to get this wet. Like that, that is a really pretty color. So I think I'm going to leave that eye like that and I'm going to go ahead and hop over to the other eye. I'm excited about these. I think I want to go in and start with this color here, breathtaking. And I'm going to pick that up on this cut crease. It's a Beauty Bay brush from that Prism collection. I'm going to put that in here. So if you like the color, oh, that's <laughs> really pigmented right there. You can always take a clean brush. Or something with like a lighter neutral color and blend it out if you feel you need to. That has a lot of pigment to it. A lot of color payoff. So I'm just going to go through here. I'm going to follow similar steps to what I did with the other eye. Whoa, it looks crazy. Um, then what I want to do is I'm going to go in with Brilliant. It's like a I don't know, it looks like a muted eggplant color to me. And I'm going to pick that up on, on this Morphe M506 brush. And I'm going to bring that out here. Put that all on this outer corner. Being mindful of the shape that I want there on that outer corner, so... That actually went on really well for being a purple. Purples usually are patchy and quite finicky. That actually went on really well. I like that. Uh, 
And then I think what I want to do is go in with Dazzling here. This pink color. And I'm going to pick that up on this Morphe M124 brush. I'm going to put that all in here. It's applying. It's really pretty. Um, that first initial application felt gritty. Uh, this color would probably do really good with a um, glitter primer, but I think I'm just going to get it wet. Now, I didn't get the other colors wet, but this one, because it feels a little, I say gritty, like chunky, like glittery. I think I'm going to use, I just wet it with my um, Morphe Luminous Setting Spray. Just to get it to adhere to the eye because of the texture to it. Look how pretty that color is. Look how stinking pretty. I'm bringing it right up to where that purple color is. I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna clean that brush off. And then I want to go into this electric color here. It's definitely got like a bluish purplish shift. It's really pretty. I'm going to apply that between the two. I hope you guys can see that. That is so pretty. They are applying really nice. Like I don't have a lot of fallout or anything. I honestly don't have any fallout. A little bit down here from the shimmer, but up there. I really like those colors. That is so flipping pretty. You know, it's super intense. Um, and then I think what I want to do for the under eye, I don't want to go in with this color here. It's called Bright. I'm going to pick that up on this uh, Luxie 111 mini flat angled brush. I'm going to go ahead and bring that all the way across. Look at that on first application. Look how well that applied. I'm gonna bring it up a, just a little bit. And bring it in like that. That is so pretty. Clean that brush. And then what I wanna do is pick up this uh, Beauty Bay BB209 brush. And I want to go into Aurora. And I'm going to put that on the inner corner. And bring it down. It's so pretty. It's like pink and it has gold in it. Oh, that's so pretty. I'm going to get it wet. I think I'm gonna go back in, just cause I'm here, I'm gonna pick up more of that twinkling color. I'm gonna get it wet. I think I want this color to come in a little further. I just love some shimmer, some sparkle, some glitter. I just love it. So I think I'm gonna leave those like that. I think I'm gonna hop off. I'm gonna finish up my makeup, put on some mascara maybe some lashes and i'll be right back okay so here is the finished look i went ahead and put on i'm like ugh, put on these <laughs> ardell wispies in 600 black um put those on and then i went ahead and use what did i use i used my la girl shockwave neon eyeliner and electric in the waterline of this eye and then i used my color pop cream gel eyeliner and insomniac in this eye so i usually use and then i used this dominique lip liner that i've been using in crush it's just a nice neutral nude tone and then i used caramel latte pretty sure this is l'oreal lipstick and caramel latte it says $7.99 i don't know it's it's an older lipstick 
I just went ahead and put that on. I'll go ahead and cover one eye so you can see. Cover this eye so you can see. And I'll go ahead and close both eyes. So you can see those. And then I'll go ahead and zoom out and we can talk about it. So I don't really have a whole lot to say about it. I really like it. I am really surprised. I'm blown away by the shimmers in here like I was not expecting. I thought they were going to be um, more like more flat, not as dimensional as they came off. And I'm really surprised by that. Like I really, I just, I was not expecting it. And I'm really surprised and I'm absolutely in love. I love how these two applied. Even this color is beautiful. Um, this one's a little, these are darker obviously, but I'm so excited with and pleased with how everything turned out. Like again, I was just expecting, you know, flat, just kind of like one dimensional. I wasn't expecting what I got, so. I really don't have much else to say about it. I honestly, would I say this is possibly my favorite Simply Posh Cosmetics palette? I think it might be. I think I'm just really drawn to the tones of the colors. Like all the mattes applied really well. They have a lot of color payoff to them. They're very pigmented and I just feel like everything applied really well. I didn't have a lot of fallout. I didn't even use like, um, I was gonna say lash glue. I didn't even use like glitter glue or spray for the shimmers over here. I used it down here just cause it's a smaller part of my eye and just to get it to adhere under there. Cause I get a, well, I get a lot of movement up here too, but um, I did over here just because it felt, um, chunkier like I was saying it has more glitter to it just so it adhere a little more and I think it did beautifully like I don't even have transfer going up into that upper lid like nothing crazy I mean if I tip my head back you can see gosh I wish let me just zoom in here can you guys see how beautiful that color is look at that like when I tip my head back over here it is gorgeous. It is absolutely gorgeous. I wish I could just rub that all over my face. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't really have much else to say on it. I really just, I really absolutely love this palette. I'm blown away by it. I was kind of like, man, this is a similar color story, but there's something for everybody. And like, I was even looking over here and at first I was like, oh, can I could just do like a very toned down, like cool tone look for work and it's like right here you just have this cool tone gray and then that aurora color and then this deeper like grayish brown over here and i was like one and done like super easy i just i don't know i don't know it just i don't know it did something for me and i love it i know these these eye looks are really blown out they're not for everybody but again i do these so you can see how the shadows perform maybe give you a little inspiration i really like colorful eyeshadow you absolutely don't have to do that not at all but i just want you to see the mattes went on beautifully they applied over top of each other beautifully they don't look mucky or muddy um they were very forgiving and very easy to work with and the shimmers applied over everything beautifully like i didn't really have to work hard in that that to me my friends is a really good palette a really good makeup formula so kudos to you simply posh cosmetics you have really outdone yourselves with this one so i don't know i'm glad to be back i hope to get in the routine of things and I have a lot of videos I need to roll out for you guys. I have a lot of makeup that I'm super excited to use in this new year. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day or evening or whenever you're watching this.